Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to check out the Parkside uh, PDRA20 LIA1 cordless pressure washer. Uh, most likely, it would be a bit of a stretch to call it a pressure washer, but um, we will see. M maybe I will be um, surprised. It says max pressure 22 bars. I don't know about that one, but anyway. So let's have a look. Let's open up the box and do some unboxing. Alrighty, so as usual, there is a bit of rainforest because why there would be no rainforest in it. The unit, the main unit without a battery, a shampoo. Uh, actually, this one is a pretty good one, even though one would say, okay, this one is a cheap shampoo. How good can it be? It is really good. I've got a video about it, so have a look. Uh, the hose pipe, the lens with the different angle um, setups uh, on the head. They are very optimistic because they put a foamer in it. I don't know about that one. And some sort of carry bag. I suppose it's for the hose pipe when it's not being used. Um, just for the sake of fun, I'm going to try it with a proper foamer as well, but I don't expect much. So now let's assemble it. Well, batteries are not included. However, the standard or the usual Parkside X20V batteries are the ones that are working with. Just in case, I read, well, read, quickly run over the um, user manual. So obviously the unit can be connected to the garden hose, or you can use the hose pipe that came with, with a filter, um, if you want to use from the bucket. For a short period of time, it can run dry, obviously until it takes some water but uh, not for a long time because obviously just like any other pressure washer it would get damaged and 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 and, and, and the foamer the um, container or the bottle is 400 milliliters okay let's have a look at um, the pressure washer how is it going to deal with the engine bay and before anyone says anything it's only dusty it's not some i don't know not a disgusting engine covered in oil and grease it's mainly dust um, i have some soft water in the bucket just in case somewhere there will some water stay then um, just to avoid some water spotting but doesn't really matter and in this uh, sipom bottle with the canyon uh, sprayer i have the sipom spider apc in a 1 to 10 dilution just to give it a bit more cleaning power. Anywho, let's do it.
rookie mistake i forgot to reposition the camera after i finished with the inside part of the bonnet or hood so hopefully there will be something visible <laughs> on the engine bay part as well now let's have a look at the foamer uh, that came with it i put a what it was it 300 320 or so milliliters of hot water in the reservoir and around 10 milliliters of the new dunking biscuit velvet shampoo so let's have a look
Alrighty, boys and girls, that was the Parkside battery operated pressure washer. It is not a high pressure, it's just a moderate to rather low pressure. It is more than enough to clean an engine bay if the engine bay is not full of mud, not full of grease and oil then it would do the trick. So at least you are not operating with high pressure water in the engine bay. It is taking the water very nicely from the, uh, from the bucket. And surprisingly, its own foamer is not as bad. However, I used soft water in the bucket and also in the reservoir. And I used a very good quality shampoo, which is foaming up nicely and has a good cleaning power. It's the Duncan Biscuit New Velvet Shampoo. And to top it, it was another surprise that because the car has a very nice layer of protection and it was only dusty rather than greasy and with traffic film and all kind of other dirt. With this level of pressure, with this foamer, with the Dunkin' Biscuit Velvet Shampoo, I could clean the surface off. But again, you need to keep all these in mind. I had soft water, hot water, good shampoo, um, last stage protection on the car, so an LSP, and also moder it was lightly dirty. With these conditions, it was working fine. If you need something more powerful or you have a dirtier car, then this is not for you. So you need to keep all this in mind. If you have no access to water and or electricity, then I would say go for it. The battery would last until you go around the car once, including foaming up quickly and then rinsing it off. Worst case scenario, you buy a second battery and you have a spare. But if you have access to water and electricity, then rather get a proper pressure washer because this one is weaker than a Karcher K2 or Karcher K2 which obviously is not surprising, it's a, it's a different uh, kettle of fish. But, hands on heart, I can recommend this product, it's okay. Just need to keep all these in mind. Anyhow, that was it about this video, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell, so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time, and catch you on the next one, bye bye.